No, wait, okay. Let's uh, continue in Sniffleheim. So, here's what happened so far. Mara's quest to find his lost friends and the way to Arborea continues. And while sailing along in the salty stallion, he's surprised to find Eric stowed away in the hold. But the reunion isn't exactly a happy one, as it soon transpires that he has entirely lost his memory. Having welcomed him back into the fold, the friends must now seek out a means of eliv elevating, elevating Eric's amnesia. Elevating? Well then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we go. So yes, we made it successfully to Sniffelheim. We also defeated the uh, great sea monster last time on the stream. And made it past the uh, blockade to the Snevelheim Bay by this large golden uh, rock, amber rock in the sea. I thought the harbor seemed quiet. But this is something else and it looks like all the villagers have shut themselves up inside their houses and locked the doors. I wonder what they are so scared of. You're going to keep looking around town. You and Rob should head to the castle. Perhaps Queen Frizzable will be more forthcoming than her subject. I thought the main square would be the best place to gather information, but there's not a single townsperson to be seen. I hear them whispering inside their homes, but no matter how loudly I knock, they refuse to open the doors. What in heaven's name has happened here? Well, we can't but continue to search the city. You must do the same at the castle. Mara can hear hushed voices coming from inside the building. Doors are locked tight. Do you remember when we were here last, darling? The city was hustling and bustling like nobody's business. Now there's hardly a soul to be seen. They are all cooped up inside their homes and they won't come out and play. Almost as if they are not over the moon to see. At least the cow is still here. Good girl. And the guards are still here. I swore to keep her majesty safe from harm, but how can I defend her against a disease whose origins escape even our wisest scholars? Oh no, Corona. I wish I could hide inside the castle until uh, this all blows over, but the captain has put me on guard duty again. Uh, guard's life is a hard life. Ah, you are the traveler who came here once before, are you not? I am glad to see you well. Her majesty has been very concerned for your safety. We must go inside and see her. Proof be told, our kingdom is currently beset by a terrible plague. If you could let the queen know that you are unharmed, it would be one less thing for her to worry about. Oh no, they have the Rona. Okay. So, yep, Rob seems to be already inside the castle. Let's have a look inside. <sighs> Welcome to Snivelheim Castle. Before the disaster struck, this building was known for being the handsomest pla palace in all Erdria. Now it is better known as the hotbed of a terrible plague. Take care that you do not catch the beast yourself, Tra. Oh. Queen Frizzable and I grew up together. We have been like sisters ever since we were little girls. That is why it is all the more upsetting to see her having to deal with this crisis all on her own and to be unable to do anything to help. 
The lift down to the dungeons is currently off limits. Forgive me, but I cannot let you pass. Believe me, it is for your own safety. The wicked witch Crystalinda is imprisoned down there. He may be the one behind this plague. Crystalinda was once our sworn enemy, and now, not long after she returns, we are struck down by this terrible plague. You doubt that she is the one who has brought this disaster upon us, but is this really the case? The mysterious disease started to spread right after the world tree fell. Just when we had recovered from one shock, another struck without warning. Will the illness take me just as suddenly as it has the others? It is such a scary thought, I'll stop shaking. There's an awful disease spreading around Sniffleheim. Everyone suspected the witch of being behind it, so Her Majesty ordered her to be locked away in the dungeons. Risabel is convinced that Crystalinda is innocent, but there was no other way to relieve her people's panic. What a terrible thing for the poor girl to have to do to her friend. He and the witch had become so close. You will find Queen Frisable in her throne room. It is the grand hall to the rear of the castle. She's deeply troubled about the disaster that is unfolding across her realm. If there's anything you can do to help, it would be greatly appreciated. Many soldiers of Sniflheim have already formed. Now we are the only ones still standing. But so long as I live and breathe, I do my duty. If this castle were to be stormed by the Lord of Shadow's most monstrous minions, I would gladly lay my life on the line to keep her majesty safe. But how am I to protect her from an adversary that is invisible and intangible, and that may strike at any moment? Welcome, Traveller. Are you here to see the Queen? Then please proceed up the stairs. I'm sure she will be overjoyed to see you safe and well. Ah, how good it is to see you alive and well, friend. Have you already met with Queen Frisabel? I'm currently hard at work studying the strange plague that is spreading around Snivelheim. Please, you must talk to Her Majesty. She will be able to tell you more. If you wish to know what is happening in our kingdom, you must speak with Her Majesty. It is not my place to talk of our nation's woes with outsiders. Sure, sure. Ever since Crystalinda uh, taught me how to apply makeup, I've been changed. I've been a changed woman. I recently stopped by the armorers to buy a new axe and came back loaded with earrings and accessories. But then the world tree fell and the plague began to spread. Now is not the time to be dressing up. I have pledged my sword, uh, sword to Queen Frisabel and her kingdom. Even if I should be afflicted by the fever, I will protect her to my dying breath. Yes, your dying breath might be her dying breath as well, if you uh, spread the disease to her. Kau <laughs> Alright. 
この地に蔓延したとしてもまだ希望は残されていたのですねうんそれじゃシャール殿今黄金病と言ったかの一体この地で何が起きておるのじゃほど前からですクレイモラン王国一帯で突如奇病が流行りだしたのですこの病に感染したものは人間も動物も植物でさえも体が黄金と化してしまうのですゴール I'm listening 体が黄金に原因も治療法もわからないこの病はいつしか不安に怯える人々から黄金病と呼ばれるようになりました他の国に助けを求めようにも病と共に現れた巨大な黄金の氷山により陸路も回路も閉ざされこの地は今や陸のこと病を調べていた魔女リーズレットも逆にあらぬ疑いをかけられ城の地下に幽閉されてしまいました友人として彼女を解放しようと試みましたが民の強い反対に遭いそれもかなわず黄金病がこの国を混乱に陥れているのですなんとそのようなことがじゃがシャール殿安心なされよその黄金病の謎をわしらが調べようありがとうございますロー様皆さん城の者や城下町の民たちにも皆さんに協力するよう伝えておきますどうかよろしくお願いします<笑>黄金病。What about the gold, Eric? I have asked my guards to inform everyone in the city that you are here to help save Snuffleheim from gold fever, and that they should aid you in whatever way they can. I'm sure my people will open their doors for you now. Please, you must talk with them and find out all that you can. I wish you the best of luck, my friend. Gold finger. Mm. So you are going to aid us in fighting the fever? I'm afraid our own endeavors are at something of an impasse. Just between you and me, we are no closer to finding the source of the infection than we uh, th than when we first began. But I cannot bring myself to tell Her Majesty and the people the bad news. I have been trying to learn more about gold fever myself, but I can find no mention of anything even faintly resembling. It in any of our many books. The only explanation I can think of is that the disease is not a naturally occurring ailment. It may have been created quite recently by an evildoer with some purpose in mind. We will find this uh, perpetrator, this uh, evil, this foul spirit. Yes. Your Majesty has ordered us to aid you in whatever way you need. If you wish to use the lift to go down to the dungeon, you are free to pass. Go. Shit. Level up. Thankfully for me, gold fever has not yet spread to these dungeons. If you wish to learn more about the disease, you would be better off asking upstairs or in the city. Crystalinda is currently imprisoned in the cell beyond these doors. The cage itself is a relic from the Age of Heroes. Its bars are completely resistant to magic, so even one as powerful as the Wicked Witch herself cannot break free. Ah, Mara, how nice of you to visit. Don't worry, you won't catch anything from me. I have nothing to do with that ridiculous gold fever. But when you are a witch, people will insist on blaming you for everything. 
With good reason, I suppose. If it makes them feel better, I'll play along. Anyway, enough about me. There's something you must know. Gold fever is no ordinary Ill illness. I have used enough black magic in my time to recognize its hallmarks. It is not a plague. It's more akin to a curse. Whoever crafted this magic is more powerful than I ever was. Only you, Luminary, have the strength to stop them. I'm probably the last person you would want to do a favor for, but please, for Frizzy's sake, find this person and break this curse. We are all counting on you. He's calling her Frizzy? Okay, let's um, have a talk around town. Pick on the people. Let's see what they can tell us. Rose, mm -hmm. くわしくはわからんが、シャールドノが言うにはな。うん。オールレディ。おお、そこ行くご婦人。よければわしらに話を聞かせてくださらんか。な、なんだいお前さんたちは。こんなとこでぼさっとして体が金になっても知らないよ
while we wait for the fever to go away. If I didn't keep clearing it away, we'd be plucked in completely. Right enough talking, I need to shift this stuff quickly before I turn to gold. Eve ho! Eve ho! Eve ho! I race these horses from folds. They are like children to me. Soon it will be time to send them away to Galopolis to raise in the Sand National. Until then, that rotten gold fever can keep its hands off. Let's have a look at the um, shops here. Welcome to the armor shop. How can I serve you? Ice sheet. Mm-hmm. Mithril Helm. Power Mantle. The nice boost. Three of them. Actually, we have enough gold for at least two. Um, how many? I can get some more cash to buy the other one. The scholars of Snivelheim have long been regarded as the most advanced students of the arcane arts in all Erdria. And yet the cure for gold fever escapes them. It seems they were not quite so clever as we thought. This is a sad discovery and a frightening one. Pranks, Bane! Fourteen thousand. Nice upgrade as well. Yeah, um, I need to get some cash. I need to get some cash. My daughter and I love music more than anything. I had hoped that listening to the scald sing uh, would ease our troubled minds. But it does not seem to be working. Hmm. What do I know about gold fever? Nothing that would help, I fear. I only pray that you can save my girl from its clutches. She has many more songs to hear. Mr. Minstrel has been singing a lot of scary th songs lately. I'm sure he'll sing, sing something nice again eventually. I just have to keep listening. Gold fever, la la la, fear of gold descends on the silver town and drags it down. Do, 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 do. Such a cold fever, gold fever. Ah, oh. oh, pretty girl, beware of the golden hex. You might be. This is totally, this is totally a homage to uh, Goldfinger, the lyrics from Goldfinger. One hundred percent. I have lived in Sniffelheim my entire life, and I have never known such dark days as these. Is this all the result of Icrasil falling from the sky? I wish I could make the children a nice steaming pot of uh, fiskesuppe, but ever since gold fever struck we haven't been able to get the ingredients. We are all doing our very best to keep their little bellies full, but unless somebody finds a cure they will start to go hungry soon enough. Master Snorri and I have uh, scoured the ancient tomes for any mention of gold fever, but alas we have come up empty-handed. There is no reference to anything like it in the entire written uh, record. It must be a completely novel illness, or perhaps it is not an illness at all. 
Mama says I'm not allowed to play outside until the fever goes away. But I'm so bored. I want to have a snowball fight. I'm really good at throwing snowballs. All the boys wish they could throw like me. Hi. Ooh, 19,000. Hmm. I can't remember how much the uh, oop, how much the uh, lands was. Well, let's head back. Have a look. Armor first for Eric. Fourteen thousand shit. Items. What? Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> My brain stopped working there. Many Sniffleheimers believe the gold fever is the work of the Wicked Witch, but those people are gravely mistaken. I have followed Crystalinda's career more closely than any other. Even if she wanted to turn people to gold, it is not within her power. This is someone else's doing. Hmm. Vikings who rove the northern seas have a hideout nearby. It is in a cave just around the coast from the harbor. They used to come here all the time, some to trade, others to drink the mead hall dry. But it has been some time since last they showed their faces. I hope they are okay. Giant golden boulder suddenly appeared in the entrance to Sniffelheim Bay, and another in the Snarefell too. I don't know if they have anything to do with the fever, but they are blocking all traffic in and out of the kingdom by land or sea. We are completely cut off. There's nothing for us to do down at the docks, so now we spend our days in the mead hall instead, drowning our sorrows. Since the golden plague appeared, I have hardly sold a drop of mead. Even the Vikings, my very first best customers, are nowhere to be seen. Have they been struck down by gold fever too? I have thought about sailing around the Cape and delivering a few barrels directly to their hideout, but I fear the danger is too great. He was my one and only admirer. Every day I would catch his eye and he would come to drink in the meat hall and now he's gone. Nobody so much as looks my way anymore. I've lost the will to flirt. It might as well just turn to gold and be done with it. Oh girl. She's in love.
I don't understand what that stupid fever thinks it's so funny about turning everyone to gold. Your gold is nice and shiny, but you can't do anything exciting with it. But with a pile of shiny white snow, you can have a snowball fight with all your friends. It's our more clever. I'm training to be an astrologer. I know very little about gold fever, but when I heard that you and your friends were here to help, I attempted to divine your future from the movement of the stars. However, the only thing I saw was the single word, uh, word forgiveness. Does this mean anything to you? Does this mean anything to you, Eric? Forgiveness? You are an unfortunate one, friend, to come to Snivelheim at a time like this. If I were you, I would run away as fast as Bix Alex would carry me. But you are not running, you are trying to find a cure for the fever. I could never be as brave as you. 